Well, the majority of our injections, uh, we're giving relatively small quantities of product to these animals, less than five cc's, and, and that's typically what we're doing on our vaccination programs. However, if we're moving into uh, treatment of cattle with, uh, with antibiotics, for example, uh, those t injections oftentimes require higher doses and on some of the uh, higher levels of doses, uh, depending on the weight of the animal, can be 50, 60 cc's of that product. From a beef quality assurance standpoint, it's, it's important not to give all of that product in one location. And it's recommended to give no more than 10 cc's in any one location uh, on the animal. Uh, and, and, that, and that goes for both uh, subcutaneous or intramuscular injections. So it's important if you've got a 50 cc dose, uh, you're going to end up giving five injections uh, on that animal. And again, spacing those injections out uh, uh, three inches on younger cattle, four inches on mature cattle, and if possible, giving some on one side and some on the other in order to prevent any potential uh, abscesses or anything like that or, or just uh, impact the meat quality of the animal.